Welcome to Matico Photography. I'm just about to go out and take some pictures of a park in infrared. Uh, the conditions aren't good, it's very cloudy, but it's early spring and the infrared light is quite good with the new leaves and on the trees and it can look quite nice. It's a very dramatic and startling effect from normal colour. So that's what I'm going to try and do and uh, see how it works out. Well, before we start, this is the camera. It's a converted D200 with an infrared sensor in it. Um, not too sure which sensor it is, but it's in the middle, so it's not too contrasty. Um, before we start shooting, the most important thing is to get a white balance. So we turn it on, hold down quality. It may be different on different cameras. Oop, no, white, white, hold down white balance and then the preset flashes. What we do now is then go to shoot, oops, go and shoot some grass. So hold into the white balance. As we can see, shoot a bit of grass and it says good. So that means we can now shoot some infrared. As you can see, the day's a bit overcast, it's not very nice. Um, but, you know, you might get some nice results. Sometimes some of the best pictures are on dull days, but we shall see. Well, I've taken a few pictures. It's, um, it's a bit of a dull day, as you can see. Keep taking the dogs for a walk. But, uh, as I say, the sky's very, very gloomy. But um, taking a few shots, they're all right. Um, but it should be a good example of how you can take some good infrared, even on a dull day. Um, after taking a few shots, this is what they look like on the picture, if you can see that. They um, look a bit stark, a little bit white balanced. Should be quite easy to see. But um, once you put them into Photoshop, you can tweak them into colour or black and white or keep the sepia look which I quite like in some of my work and uh, yeah you can do it in Photoshop you can do it in lots of lots of programs Capture One Lightroom and you can tweak them and uh, yeah they'll look good hopefully leaves um, it reflects a lot more phosphorescence which makes the picture and the greenery look white and the um, water, as you can see at the bottom, makes it very dark because that doesn't absorb the sunlight. There's a lot of science behind it which you can look up, I'm sure, but it makes for quite a dramatic picture, which you should hopefully see in a minute. <laughs> 